Hey, today I wanted to show you my new sewing desk and um, I have wanted one of these since I first started quilting. Every other thing I've ever sewn on has been a sewing machine just put on some ramshackle table from another part of the house. <laughs> which is probably what the majority of quilters do, I think. But I have been coveting these built-ins for so long, and I finally took the plunge last month, and it was a plunge. But let me just tell you which one I got. I got the Kangaroo Cabinets by Aero Sewing, and it's the Aussie 2 model. I'm gonna show you everything it does and show you how much space I now have. And I am loving this thing. It might be one of the best purchases I've ever made for my quilting. Um, I'm going to show you all about it. All right, just a tiny ca caveat before I begin. I've got some um, wires happening right here, and they're for my lights so that you can see a little bit better in this video. But here we go. Here is the desk. And here's the reason I bought this desk. Well, number one, I wanted this back space. So before this desk, my sewing came from about right here. And then it kind of stopped right here. That was my table. And I was always having trouble with my quilt falling off when I was binding or, you know, piecing a lot of rows together for bigger quilts. So this back piece really was something that I wanted to find in a desk. The second thing that I really wanted uh, was this was this built-in type situation. So I'm sure you can see it, but this is a this is a custom piece right here that fits my exact sewing machine so that I can have flat sewing. And that was one of my big hangups. That's the whole reason for purchasing this desk was for my sewing machine to fit inside it like that. So let me back up and show you everything it's got going on. So one thing, and I'm not going to be able to show you all of this part, but everything comes closes back together. My sewing machine can go all the way down to the floor right there. This piece comes flips over like that. This piece comes back and closes this all up. And then the back piece that I just showed you goes down. So it comes back into like a little countertop surface. And it also has a lock and key where I could keep small children out if I wanted to. For me, I'm never going to close this thing up because first I've got this table blocking it. And second, I use it every single day. So, so closing it up is not for me. And closing it up, I think, is probably one of the reasons they cost so much, which was a little bit of a shame. But everything else about it, I'm really, really digging. So let me just start over here. So like I said, this is kind of extra. And it's uh, I always use this side of the sewing machine a lot more, you know, than you would use this side. So this is a little bit of a waste of space, but I found that I can keep quilts I'm working on over here and things like that. It has these little, uh, they're just little boxes, really. I haven't had a chance to really find good things to put in them, but so far I've got my scissors over here where I sit right here and then just reach over here and use whatever I need. So that's, it kind of cleared the space, I guess. Like I didn't have everything just kind of sitting around collecting dust. Now it's got a place for it to be. So that was kind of cool. Um, the desk also extends. Let me show you this. So one of the handy features is the extension, which I only put out when I'm sewing something really big, like my rows together, or I've got a lot of pieces and I need a place to put them all. But it goes like this, and this door opens up, swings like this, and then it locks into place. So I've got this space right here. Also, this little piece comes out. got this whole extra right here, which I personally won't be using this much, but I have used it a little bit. One time I sat here and drew lines on the back of my squares real quick and then sent them through the sewing machine. So it has its purposes. I could also keep, you know, another sewing machine here. I could um, have a little pressing mat here if I wanted to. So there's things that I could do. All right, and here is what it looks like from the inside. So it's a pretty good space, I think. My legs fit under it. In the pictures, they had like a serger sitting here. Um, it has a couple of drawers that I'm just keeping randoms in. 
One of the things that the desk really helped me do is to find places to put things that were sitting around on top of surfaces. It's got some cubbies down here that I've put, been putting patterns down. Um, and I haven't really shown you this thing, but it's a little bit of a pain to do. But the machine can, you know, come all the way up, come all the way down, whatever you need it to do. They custom fit this glass to fit your machine. So if I was to have a different machine, I could get another glass made for it. They had this ready a little bit after the desk got to me. It took about a month extra for the custom insert. But there it is. And um, like I said, I'm pretty pretty pleased like I, I can I have found two things that I would change if I was to design this myself here's the here's the couple of things I'd change one I feel like this as far as this will go is a little bit closer to me than I would like I would like it to be just a little bit further out so I wish that this piece kind of went back a little bit the second thing I would change is that my machine this is really more about the custom insert, but I wish my machine could sit a little bit closer here. I know it can't sit completely because it, you know, it's got wires, it's got the on and off switch, but I wish it could set at least two inches more or so than it is because as it is right now, it's a little bit further on this side that I would, than I would like. That is the only two things that I really um, would change. And like I said, they're not things that I don't care for. It's just, little things. Let me show you how this closes off. I might have a little trouble doing it one-handed. Hang on. Here we go. So it closes up to like that. And then I'll show you this piece. It's like that. This comes back over. Now this I move in and out a lot. It also has wheels all over it, so um, I can lock it into place, which I do have it locked into place. Let me show it from the other angles. So there it is. So like I said before, this is the Aussie 2 model from Aero Sewing. It is a kangaroo cabinet. I'm just finding it really, really, not just aesthetically pleasing, but it is really <laughs> aesthetically pleasing to me. But also I like having a place for everything. And I love my sewing machine being down in there in offering me uh, this flat surface. I have never shown you my grandmother's sewing cabinet, but I do have it. And hers is the same way. It's, it's not nothing this fancy. It was a very, you know, it's from Singer and it's very small, but her sewing machine sat down in there just like this and she was able to sew on a flat surface. So it feels a little bit retro as well. Um, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm learning more about this and I'm going to link this in the notes below. Thank you.